Iron deficiency is one of the most widespread deficiencies in the world. And uh, as we know, vegan diets are not that widely spread in the world yet. So that tells us that iron deficiency is not just affecting vegans, it affects or many, many people. So how do we avoid iron deficiency? The first thing that comes to mind is uh, take supplements and especially supplements that look very natural and friendly, which have uh, lots of natural ingredients, but um, sometimes they might contain synthetic iron. And uh, it is actually not very safe and uh, not beneficial for the body to take synthetic iron. It's very easy to overdose on iron um, and uh, the consequences might be upset stomach, stomach pain, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. And uh, you can even get black stains on your teeth from uh, iron supplement. Also, you can hear a lot about um, iron in animal products being easier absorbable than in uh, plant-based foods and uh, it's actually not such a good thing. Uh, besides, the type of iron found in animal products, the hem iron, um, is associated with uh, higher risks of um, very serious diseases, the most uh, spread diseases in uh, the world today. So what can we do as vegans and raw vegans to uh, increase our iron? The best of course is to get iron from natural foods like uh, nettles and raisins, uh, and dates, uh, prunes, <laughs> uh, pears, um, uh, all the dark leafy greens and um, also lentil sprouts, unhulled sesame, pumpkin seeds and uh, sunflower seeds. And uh, you can look up and maybe find some other your favorite foods that are high in iron. And it's also helpful to get some C vitamin with your foods because it increases the absorption of iron. And you don't have to worry about toxicity of the iron in um, natural plant-based foods because the way it's structured your body can regulate much easier how much to absorb and uh, the absorption is not that crazy high. So how do you know that you have iron deficiency? The most common symptoms of iron deficiency is extreme fatigue, numbness in hands and legs, um, the pale skin, chest pain, fast heartbeat, shortness of breath, headache, dizziness and lightheadedness, brittle nails, inflammation and soreness of your tongue, poor appetite and unusual cravings like cravings for ice, for example. And of course, it's always a good idea to check your levels of iron and if you find that uh, you're in the lower range of normal um, accepted range of iron, you can be pretty happy with it because it's been found that the higher levels of iron are not necessarily beneficial and uh, might increase the risk of serious disease, especially if this iron is coming from synthetic iron and uh, hem iron from animal products. But if your iron is lower than normal, then just make sure to get this natural foods uh, vegan or raw vegan foods that are naturally high in iron.